All right, so today we're going to show you how to build a 5 to 1 hull system for crevasse rescue, otherwise called a Z by C. The minimum equipment you'll want for this is two pear shaped locking beaners for your harness to tie in, one 24 centimeter sling, one 48 centimeter sling, a 5 millimeter harness prusik, a stirrup style leg loop prusik, one small tractor loop prusik, a locking master point beaner, one small locker, and four non lockers, along with a picket and other standard glacier travel gear. In this specific scenario, your partner fell through a snow bridge, you were on the edge of the rope, and have already arrested the fall and buried a dead man anchor. So, start by taking your leg loops, which are prussicked to the rope and daisy chained. Clip both leg loops into the master locker on the anchor, lock it, and don't unlock it again for the rest of the rescue. If for whatever reason your leg loops cannot reach the anchor, undo the daisy chain to extend them fully. These will become the ratchet on the Z later on. Slowly back up and transfer the load from your harness onto the prusik, ensuring the prusik bites the rope properly. Be prepared at any moment to return to self-arrest position if it fails. Once the weight is off your harness, you can unclip from your tie-in point, carefully set down your spare rescue coils and escape the system. So now you're free, but the anchor isn't redundant. You'll need to temporarily back up the ratchet prusik in case it fails. Undo your tie-in knot and throw in an overhand on a bite. Clip this to the master point with your small locker. Now if the prusik fails, the knot should take the load without shock loading the anchor. If you have any sense of doubt in the strength of the dead man, you'll want to back it up with another snow or ice anchor. Use either the double or single length sling. A double length will allow you to place a second anchor farther away from the first anchor so as to not disturb the integrity of the surrounding snow. Clip into the master beaner with the locker. Set up a prusik on the non-loaded line and keep it taut as a tether. Now it's time to move down to the crevasse to check on the climber's condition. If they're unable to climb out, Prepare the lip by exposing where the rope dug in and sliding an axe or shovel under the rope to prevent it from digging in further. After you've done all of the above, you'll need to haul. Throw on your small prusik loop on the loaded line near the lip. Clip a non-locker to it and run the non-loaded end of the rope through it. This is the tractor prusik that does the pulling. It should look like this. So back up to the anchor, undo the backup knot and introduce your pulley. Another helpful trick is to use an ATC to help with the prusik minding so it does not jam or get pulled through the pulley. Pull a bind of the rope through, then put on the pulley as you normally would. Clip the beaner through both the ATC wire and the pulley. Lock it off. Now you have a 3 to 1 Z-Hall setup. It should look like this, but probably won't give you enough mechanical advantage. We'll need to add a C to the current Z, making it a 5 to 1. By adding just one more beaner, this can be accomplished. Tie a figure 8 bite on the very end of the hauling line. Clip this to the master point. Down at the tractor press again, you'll want a non-locking beaner, preferably one that accommodates a clove hitch neatly, such as an oval or a pear-shaped beaner. The clove hitch does not dress as nicely on this style of beaner. After you've clipped in the clove hitch, take the remaining rope going to the figure eight at the end and run it through the beaner, pulling the loop slack through until it becomes taut. And there you have it. You'll pull on the loop coming from the figure eight to haul. The entire setup should look like this. The 5 to 1 gives you a trade-off of hauling power for distance. You'll have to pull 5 feet of rope for every 1 foot of distance the fall victim is hauled, but it will require much less strength. It will also require more frequent resetting of the system. Try to keep in communication and visual with your buddy as they reach the lip, so as to not crush them without paying attention. This setup is one of many in a large bag of tricks you should have before stepping onto a glacier. Memorize it, practice it, and be confident you can build it in any condition. 
and sister partners do the same for you.